Good morning, New City Kids! Welcome to our legend service. My name is Tori. And my name is Annalise. We are so excited to have church with you this morning. Yes, we love that you're a part of New City Kids. We're gonna start off with some worship, so we invite you to stand up and join us. Seth's going to lead us, so get ready to sing with us. Good morning and welcome again to New City Kids Legends Service. I'm so glad to be with you all uh, again this Sunday here at New City Kids. It's time to enter into a time of worship, so why don't you stand up onto your feet if you're not already standing, and we are going to sing these songs together. Let's sing this. Who am I that the highest king?
It's memory verse time! Okay, legends, we are going to practice our memory verse, Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. I'm gonna say it two times. The first time you can just listen, and the second time you can say it with me. Ready? Colossians 1, verse 13 through 14. He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. In Him we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Now let's say it together. He has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. In Him we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. Great job, legends. Keep practicing at home. Jesus and Lazarus were friends. Lazarus lived in the town of Bethany in Judea with his sisters Mary and Martha. One day, Lazarus got sick. <laughs> Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus. Lord, your friend Lazarus is sick, they said. Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. This sickness will bring glory to God and to the Son of God. Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus said, let's go back to Judea. By the time Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been in a tomb for four days. Martha hurried to meet Jesus, but Mary stayed home. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Martha knew Jesus could do a miracle though. I know God will give you whatever you ask, she said. Jesus replied, your brother will rise again. Martha believed that Lazarus would rise from the dead in the future on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die ever. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. Martha said, I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Martha went back to her house. She told Mary that Jesus wanted to see her. So Mary left the house and all the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha followed her. Mary fell at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary was crying. Jesus wept too. Mary led Jesus to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. It was a cave and a huge stone covered the opening. Remove the stone, Jesus said. So the stone was moved aside. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb, wrapped in linen and cloth. Jesus said, unwrap him and let him go. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he showed that he has power over death. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. He gives eternal life to those who trust in him. That was a great Bible story. Thank you for watching with us. Yes, what happened with Lazarus is just a small part of what life is going to look like in God's eternal kingdom. Everyone who has faith in Jesus will live with God forever. Death was never part of God's original plan for this life, but sin brought death and destruction into this world. But God's perfect plan would defeat even death. Yes, even though we all face physical death, Jesus' death and resurrection gives us hope that we can live eternally with Him forever. Now it's time for our story point and our big picture question. Our story point for today is Jesus has power over death. And our big picture question asks, how does God care for His creation? Let's say the answer together. God loves and rules over His creation according to His perfect plan. Great job, legends. Now let's pray together. Dear God, we praise you for being good, loving, kind, and powerful. 
Only you can turn sad things into beautiful pictures of peace and joy. Help us trust you always. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a great day, New City Kids. And remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. Bye. Bye.